Hello, I'm Jackie and I've got a story for you. And the story begins like this. It's a story about a dog and the dog's name was Split Dog. <laughs> now I know you're thinking that that's a, a strange name for a dog, but uh, well, he wasn't always called Split Dog. He used to have a perfectly sensible name, a very ordinary name. His name was uh, Dog. Well, I think that's a, a sensible name for a, a dog. Anyway, this is the story about how Dog became known as Split Dog. Here's Dog. There he is. Oh, he was a handsome dog, very intelligent. And he belonged to a friend of mine who I only know by the name of uh, Old Joe. <laughs> Old Joe was a bit of a daydreamer, bit of an odd, odd duck, really. Anyway, one day, old Joe and Dog, as he was then, were out hunting. You can see there old Joe's boot prints, Dog's paw prints, and you can see the animal they're hunting. Can you guess what it is? Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Not a rabbit. I think you've guessed. Yes, it was a kangaroo, but not any old kangaroo. No, this was a huge kangaroo. We call them boomers, and that boomer, whew, he did not want to be caught. I mean, would you? Boing, 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 boing. Dog chased after that boomer. Boing, boing, ruff, 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 ruff. boing, 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 boing. And then boing, boing, it jumped to the right. Boing, brr, it jumped to the left. Brr, and then it jumped, boing, behind a big old gum tree. Well, Dog didn't know which way to go. Should he go to the right? Uh, should he go to the left? Uh, right. Uh, 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 uh. Which way should dog go? To the right or to the left? <laughs> well, let me tell you. In all his excitement, dog didn't make a very good choice. <laughs> He decided to go both ways at the same time, right and left, and this is what happened. Oh, Joe couldn't believe his eyes. Oh, nah, crocky, what's happened to me dog? He's gone and split himself in two. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, now, old Joe used to keep some uh, old chewing gum behind his ear. Hmm. He popped it in his mouth, gave it a good chew, Till it was good and sticky. Then he got the right half of dog and the left half of dog and he, he stuck him back together again. But I did say that old Joe was a daydreamer and he wasn't really concentrating and well this is what he did. Oh no, crikey, what have I gone and done to me dog? I've gone and stuck him together two legs up and two legs down. He's all topsy-turvy. <laughs> oh, no. I know what I'll do. I'll call him Split Dog from now on. <laughs> that's what I'll do. I'll call him Split Dog. So that's what he did. And this is how Dog became Split Dog. And he gets around like this now. And he's very, very fast. Now, old Joe and Split Dog they had many adventures. This is adventure number, number one. They were camping at a place just north of Yakandanda, east of Mullingandra and south of Walbundry. Have you got that? North of Yakandanda, east of Mullingandra and south of Walbundry. Very important you remember that. Old Joe, he woke up, he stretched and he yawned. <gasps> but before you could say, Burrum buttock. His false teeth jumped out of his mouth and ran down a goanna hole. Well, oh, Joe, he hadn't noticed. He, he cut himself a, a slice of bread, made himself a sandwich for breakfast, went to take a bite. Oh, what's this? What's this? I can't get a grip on my sandwich. What happened to me teeth? He looked everywhere. 
He looked in his sleeves. He looked in his pockets. He looked in his shoes. He even looked down the goanna hole. But teeth can be very, very quiet when they're hiding in a goanna hole. Hmm. I, I know what I, I done. I reckon I swallowed my teeth when I was snoring in my sleep. That's what I done. I swallowed my teeth. So he tipped himself upside down, gave himself a good shake, and it was while he was upside down, those teeth shot out from the goanna hole and ran off down the road. Oi, you, get back in my mouth where you belong. <laughs> but the teeth didn't care. They didn't listen. They just said, yakety yak, snickety snack, I'm tickety boo, you big gano. And down the road they ran with old Joe chasing after. Now those teeth, they hadn't had any breakfast and they were pretty hungry and they could smell something cooking in Mrs. O'Sullivan's kitchen. Do you know what it is? Oh, it was a cream cake, a double cream cake with strawberries on top. Before you could say barum buttock, those teeth flew through the air and chomp. Mrs. O'Sullivan's cream cake was gone. What do you think you're doing, you cheeky teeth? You give me back my cream cake right now. Ha <laughs> ha, but the teeth just laughed. Ha ha ha, yakety yak, snickety snack. I'm tickety boo, you big gnu. And down the road they ran with old Joe and Mrs. O'Sullivan chasing after them. Well, those teeth were still hungry. Hmm. There was something. Mr. Blandowski, he'd been to the market and he'd bought himself something for lunch. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it was a fish. But before you could say, barum buttock, those teeth flew through the air and chomp. Mr. Blandowski's fish was gone. <gasps> What do you think you are doing, you cheeky teeth? You give me back my fish right now. But the teeth just laughed. Ha ha ha! Yuckety yuck, snickety snack. Um, tickety boo, you big gnu. And down the road they ran with old Joe, Mrs. O'Sullivan, and Mr. Blandowski chasing after them. But those teeth were still hungry. There was something else they'd found. What's this? Can you guess? Mm -mm. <laughs> it was Jacamara's roast chook. He was just about to take it off the barbecue, but before you could say, barum buttock, those teeth flew through the air and chomp. Jacamara's roast chook was gone. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You give me back my roast chook. Ha 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 yak, snickety snack. I'm tickety boo, you big gano. And down the road, those teeth ran with old Joe, Mrs. O'Sullivan, Mr. Blandowski, and Jack Amara chasing them. Hmm. But the teeth had found something else cooking. What's this? Do you know? Can you guess? Mrs. Takahashi was cooking chicken yakitori. She was standing at the griller, singing away, la di da di da di da, la di da di da di da, la di da di da di da. Before you could say, barum buttock, those teeth flew through the air and chomp. Mrs. Takahashi's chicken yakitori was gone. What do you think you are doing? You give me back my chicken yakitori right now. Ha ha ha, yakety yak, snickety sack. I'm tickety boo, you big gano. And down the road they ran with old Joe, Mrs. O'Sullivan, Mr. Blandowski, Jack Amara, and Mrs. Takahashi chasing them. Meanwhile, back at the camp, do you remember who was back at the camp? Someone woke up. Yes. It was Split Dog. Hmm. Hmm. That's odd. Where's old Joe? He should be at the camp having his brekkie. What's happened to him? <gasps> maybe, maybe he's been Joe napped. Hmm. 
Split Dog spun around the camp, trying to pick up old Joe's scent. Oh, that'd be it. And off he went, down the road, following that scent. Until finally up ahead, he saw them, those runaway false teeth, being chased by old Joe, Mrs. O'Sullivan, Mr. Blandowski, Jack Amara, and Mrs. Takahashi. Oh, no. Those teeth are very cunning and very smart. They'll never catch them. Hmm. I'll have to come up with a cunning plan. Hmm. I told you Split Dog was a smart dog. <laughs> and he remembered that old Joe's false teeth had one very sweet tooth. So this is what he did. He found a hive of honeybees and he cooked up a big pot of sticky honey toffee. Hmm. A dog stir a big pot of sticky honey toffee, do you think? <laughs> With his mouth, you his paws? Oh, hang on, what's a dog got that we haven't got? Ha <laughs> ha! His tail. He stirred and he stirred and he stirred and he stirred that sticky honey toffee. He tested it. He stirred and he stirred and he stirred and he stirred. He tested it. And when it was just right, he set himself up a sticky honey toffee trap. His tail was up straight. Split dog sat still as a concrete dog. Only his eyes moved. And then down the road they came, those false teeth. Ha ha ha! Yakety yak, snickety snack, um, tickety boo ya! <gasps> oh, oh, sticky honey toffee! Before you could say, barum buttock, those teeth flew through the air and chomp! <gasps> Split dog said, oh! Oh! The teeth said, ah, 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 ah. They were well and truly stuck. And that's the story of how Split Dog outwitted old Joe's runaway false teeth. Until next time. Bye.